So my name is Saurabh Sharma. I am editor in chief at Coin Publish, and here we have Vincent, a CEO at Hi. So yeah, thank you so much for coming here. Let's get into the interview directly, and let's ask what exactly this project does, and it's it's huge. So Hi, Vincent, thank you so much for uh, Hi, having here, much. and yeah. So can you just give a brief about the project? Yeah, sure. So with Hi, we try to create the internet of digital screens. So basically, we're building the Airbnb for out of home advertising. That means probably all of you know. Um, digital billboards, digital yeah. signage billboards all around the world. We all want to hook them up to one platform and make them bookable in real time. So once our platform is finally launched in around March, April, people will be able to just go to our platform, select the screens they want to advertise on and directly book them okay. in real time. So in fact, I remember, uh, I guess a couple of months back, you have presented this uh, idea at Satoshi United Singapore. So how was that event as well? Oh, the event went very well. Uh, we got nominated for the best ICO of the year and won the 100,000 award by Evan Luthra. So I would say it went pretty good. Yeah, that's really great. So congratulations for that. Thank you so very now, much. Uh, quickly want to ask you, how did you get into blockchain space? Uh, well, it was actually quite a funny story because um, it was last year. I remember end of November. This was just before the crypto market just started to run crazy. And a friend told me I should definitely start to invest in this company called IOTA. So okay. I invested in IOTA and it was not a small amount of money I invested. And two weeks, two weeks later, it exploded. The whole market exploded. I think you yeah. remember those I, times. I remember the time. And 2017, was, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And that was the time where I really got interested into blockchain. I started learning all about it, creating, getting better knowledge about it. And then I created my own company. That's huge. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, what are the current like state of blockchain right now in the world? What do you mean? What is the state of blockchain technology um, in the well, world right now? I think right now the people are finally getting the knowledge that all these ICOs, the ICO times, they're over because um, with the ICOs you didn't have really a um, how do you say a law law uh, re you didn't have regulation. Yeah in the market and everybody could just do whatever they want with the money they collected. So you had a bunch of projects that were collecting tons of millions of dollars and people were just running up with the money. And I think right now the situation is getting a lot better because ICOs are slowly getting removed from the market and it's the new era of STO, security tokens, yeah. which are fully regulated, which make it a lot harder for people to scam and to run away with the money. And I think that's, we're moving into the right direction. This is where also the point where institutional money is getting into the crypto market, which for me is a lot better than all that dumb money. Yeah. So are you guys doing ICO or STO? We're doing an STO. Yeah, I have heard that high is doing STO. So perfect. So like what excited you to get into this domain? Like really what? Um, the crypto and blockchain domain? I was also seeing this whole ICO market being a big bubble. So. We wanted to make a difference. We wanted to, we're, we're Germans and we take legal stuff pretty serious. I also studied law, my background is law. Yeah. And we wanted to give something back to the people that actually trust in our project. So we said with ICO, with people don't, don't have anything, like we're not going to have the next hot dog coin to buy for hot dogs. We're not going to have the next taxi coin to pay for our taxis. And we're definitely not going to have the next advertising coin to pay for advertising. Yeah. So we wanted to create a token that actually has a value and also give something back to the investors that invest the money in our project. And that's what we wanted to create with Nike. Okay, so let's quickly ask you one thing. If, if, we, if I'm not trying to compare this, but if I want to ask you where it is making a difference if we talk about Google AdWords or maybe Facebook, Instagram ads, or if we just talk about the normal advertisements which used to come on the television. So how high is making a difference? Well, Facebook advertising, for example, it is, it is targeting only online, online yeah. marketing. So right now, a lot of people also use ad blockers, for example, and you can just escape. There are tons of apps uh, yes, as well. You can, yeah. you can just skip the advertisement. Or you also probably heard of the scandal that Facebook maybe shows you wrong data and maybe you pay more for what you actually get. So since our project high is running on the blockchain, we're also implementing something called proof of play. Okay. So people will transparently know that they actually got the place they, they actually paid for. You cannot skip uh, you cannot skip outdoor advertising because it's just you walk around the world and you just get confronted with it. 
So it really seems a huge project and we are really excited to see this coming out in the world and just making the next, next it can be the next big thing in the advertising industry. Absolutely. It is, I guess. So uh, now I would love to ask you a last question. So what do you think about blockchain education right now in the I world or maybe in the other regions? Blockchain education regions? plays a very important role because I think crypto is the future. That's yeah. just my thought. I think Crypto is also now how the way it is developing is developing into finance 2.0, into governance 2.0, and people should definitely get more knowledge about it also because it can change the whole world in many different ways. It can make the world more tamper proof, it can prevent a lot of fraud, and it can make a lot of uh, processes faster and easier. And I think we should know more about this technology, and yes. I think it's a great, yeah. Yeah. So, what you would love to say to the maybe the youth who is actually trying to get into blockchain technology? Because still, it seems hype to the world. Like if we talk uh, to the generation which I'm belonging to, or maybe 18 to 25, people are still uh, still thinking it's a bubble or it's a hype. So, what you will suggest to them because you're already into this thing? Well, I think, like I said before, the ICO thing was a bubble, but now the STO thing and the whole process getting smarter and smarter and the whole regulations coming in is actually going to be a very useful tool for the future and I would recommend anybody to get into blockchain I would recommend everybody to learn more and get more knowledge about blockchain and crypto because it's a great thing the crypto community is a great community and I love this kind of things so that was really great so thank you so much for your time it was a great meeting you Vincent and hope to, to see you high on a higher level soon so. thank, thank you very much